Witamy bardzo serdecznie naszych najnowszych. Oh, welcome uh, oh, to those of you who have stayed with us till the very end of our conference, who watched the documentary and are feeling concerned and impressed. Some of you may not have seen the documentary, but may be interested in a discussion about influencers and also about other topics uh, brought up during this conference. Um, so here we can see so many different aspects of online life. This speaks uh, about pressure of online, about opportunities, and about the consequences of being so deeply immersed. The, um, one of the features of our conferences is uh, this element of cinema. When we met uh, during uh, our offline conferences, we usually had a film showing on the evening of the first day. Last year, we were not able to do so because we didn't have any plan on how to do it online. This year, we decided, thanks to the distributors, uh, Dogs Against Gravity, we were able to offer you the opportunity to watch this film. Uh, we decided to select uh, Jawline, a documentary from 2019 directed by Lisa Mandelup, which tells a story of an American boy from a poor family in Tennessee, and he dreams to become an influencer. Uh, and I think that uh, this film differs from some that we had an opportunity to see during the previous years because it shows his perspective and the perspective of his peers. This film was also um, rewarded or awarded uh, in Sundance in 2019 during the Sundance Film Festival. So we are very fortunate. Uh, not to discuss this documentary with you alone. We have wonderful experts here with us. Dr. Karl Jachimek here with us. He's a specialist in culture. He's in Gdynia right now. And uh, he is a representative of the University of Social Psychology. Our second expert is Marta Wojtas, a coordinator of Child Online a Consulting um, Clinic. And it is to her, the children who receive no support from their immediate, immediate surroundings, children who want to talk to an expert who understands the online world, come. Uh, so they come to you looking for help, looking for support. Uh, also, after having suffered situations just as the ones portrayed in this documentary. Before we embark on a discussion, we also wanted to present certain Inter um, interactive elements of our conference. So you will see a question and you will have an opportunity to give an answer. Uh, on your smartphone, you can uh, enter Menticom. Uh, and use the code you can see on top of the screen or use the link in the, from the chat box. And please present three top associations you have with the word influencer. And to, once you do that, we will see the answers on screen. So please enter menti.com and respond to our questions. Once you're able to join this questionnaire, you will have more opportunities to provide your answers to our questions because we will uh, use this tool several times this afternoon. Oh, <laughs> Okay, there was some delay, but finally we are seeing some of your responses. Uh, 
pojawiają się odpowiedzi, układają się w taką chmurę. Uh, we can see them as tags. YouTube uh, was the first uh, association, but now we can see Instagram and influence or impact. Um, likes, celebrities. Uh, but also being materialistic, demanding artificial popularity, social media. There are so many different associations and uh, it is probably also the outcome of uh, your um, considerations after seeing the movie, uh, the documentary money, uh, popularity, trends. We were worried there'd be no responses. Now we can see there are so many. So in order not to make Carol's life difficult, Carol, a request for you. You see this mind map. Could you say a few words about this? Uh, could you tell us a little bo bit more about this phenomenon of influences? You, as a researcher, a scholar looking into culture, well, we are dealing with either a very old phenomenon, but also, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you very well. I thought that there were some technical problems. So, on one hand, we are talking about a, about a, a recent phenomenon because being an influencer is associated with the realm of internet, so uh, social media or web 2.0, the present day internet where it is possible to generate content and to be more interactive. But on the other hand, when we look at this phenomenon, and uh, this is what I do during workshops and lectures that I organize, uh, we look at this phenomenon and we realize that this may not be as recent as we tend to think. When I looked at the responses, I was quite surprised that we got YouTube. I was very happy to see that we have certain impartial looks, but then it was followed by Instagram and other things. On the other hand, uh, there were other responses uh, which uh, look um, at this phenomenon in a more negative light, and those were responses they are, that I expected to appear right at the beginning. One of my favorite contexts that I like to quote is a survey that was performed in March this year by Inspiring Girls Polska Foundation. And uh, it looked at professional careers of teenage girls. 500 teenage girls were respondents to this uh, survey together with their mothers. and. Almost 50 percent, 46 percent to be exact, of these teenagers dreamt about becoming a TikToker, YouTuber, or an Instagram influencer. And I don't even want to focus on the result of this survey from the quantitative point of view, and I will not ask a question why teenagers want to become uh, influencers. Maybe they do not know any other opportunities. But media started talking about this and this interest in becoming influencers proves that young people are stupid and uh, there were very, very negative uh, comments. What is interesting, however, ladies and gentlemen, and here I'm going back to this original question about the history of being an influencer. Influencer sounds scary, but if we looked at, if we said creators uh, online, we would 
not have such a negative connotation because influencer as a word, it uh, is associated more with marketing, with managing, controlling people. If we look at definitions in English, for example, the Macmillan Dictionary, influencer is defined as a person who uh, con convinces other people through their online appearances to consume, to buy, to. So we can look at influencers such as as creators of good quality content. But a question to you: When you were 12 years old, who did you want to become? And then probably we will say an actor, a singer, a professional athlete. We didn't become, in most cases, any of this, but this was our childhood dream. So this strange phenomenon of young girls aspiring to be influencers has a history that is much longer, because it is a dream you want to become someone special, someone exceptional, someone who is wealthy, famous, so on and so forth. But it might also be related to a certain social or cultural um, practice because uh, there were other people that uh, children aspired to be uh, uh, over the years, the it girls, uh, singers, actresses, celebrities. Well, let me jump in. Uh, Zofia, uh, one of the participants, had a similar comment. And in our chat box, she said, what is the difference between the followers of influencers and the fans of stars of um, earlier times? And in the context of this film, if this coaching content that is rather shallow ends up helping young girls, there is nothing wrong there, is there? So we see two different uh, paths here. On one hand, we see young people who want to become famous and want to achieve something. And then we see the, the world of business, the manager, managers who either search for them online or create them from the beginning. And we saw a, a house that is a factory or a workshop producing influencers, and that is something that I found more interesting in this documentary. And I could recommend another film, a Polish film um, titled Sweat. It uh, received awards in Gdynia Film Festival last year. And uh, in my opinion, this film shows the perspective of being an influencer from inside. And although I could argue whether this model of a career proposed by the young um, heroes in the, in the um, documentary, because this content that they produce is not necessarily very refined um, or very sophisticated. So this model of being an influencer, when we think influencer, we imagine people who dance or take their clothes off online. And it may have very far-reaching social consequences. We'll hear about the other experts in a moment about this, I'm sure. And uh, this documentary shows us that being an influencer, regardless of a model you choose or career path that you choose, is not really so easy. On one hand, you need to be able to manage the content, but you also are faced with situations that we are not aware of, uh, and young people aspiring to be influencers may not be aware. For example, if I become part of a network, if we are noticed by managers, uh, we are part of the media machinery and we have to find our place there. So um, the impact of this documentary is, 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 is very strong there, because it is not discouraging from becoming an online creator, 
uh, media are developing in this direction, and this is inevitable. It's very difficult for us to say what will be the most popular and most profitable type of activity a few years from now, but it shows us this life uh, as it is, showing that these people have to be very resilient, they have to be ready to face the system that is sometimes very cruel. Yes, indeed. And then we also see true feelings. And this film is not black and white. It shows some of the artificial aspects of this world, but also the reality. And before I give the floor to Marta, I would like to say that in this documentary, we are trying to understand what is the source of popularity of uh, influencers. Um, so our next question in our questionnaire is there for you. So please try to say what needs can be fulfilled by watching influencers or following influencers. So uh, in other words, why children, young people are so willing to follow influencers and why they are so willing to, to watch this type of content? I see the answers are beginning to appear. Curiosity, need to be entertained, needs that are not fulfilled within family, inspiration, that's also very important, killing time, need for feeling accepted and we've had that and I think it's very important we saw it in our chat because in this um, documentary we hear young people who are not accepted by their peers and they find some of this acceptance online Loneliness uh, needs for relationship building. So this um, illusion of having friends. So now let us turn to Marta Wojtas. As a psychologist, how would you respond to this question, also considering the documentary we've seen? I believe that this fulfills many different needs. And actually, when I was watching this documentary, uh, it uh, was quite important that people who were present had certain deficits and uh, young people have different deficits and I believe that uh, this phenomenon of being a follower of an influencer or being a an influencer is trying to make up for these deficiencies. Uh, for example, someone said, I like other people smiling. When, even when I'm not happy, I see other person, another person smiling, and it makes me feel better. So the main hero in this um, film said it. The, young children who come to me or to call us are often feeling very lonely. And loneliness is one of the biggest problems of the modern day world. So it is also underlined in this documentary. It is a more general problem. People are becoming more and more narcissistic. And and the evolution of the world 
and the realm of culture promotes superficiality. It's very difficult to find your place in this world, and it is particularly difficult for young people. So it is not easy to grow up nowadays, and I do not envy the young people what they receive and what they search for. They receive a difficult reality, and what they search for is the possibility to fulfill their human needs, uh, building close relationships, uh, receiving positive feedback, um, uh, feeling joy and, and positive emotions, and they do not receive this in the real life for different reasons. So this... Um, escape um, into the world of illusion, thinking, oh, when I'm rich, when I'm wealthy, my problems will be over, I will feel great, this is the way out. So this is a, a, a myth um, that um, grown-ups also follow sometimes. It is not just the youngsters. And this documentary shows that once you achieve fulfillment of your aspirations, things look different than what you had imagined, and uh, the fall is very painful. And then you have to face your problems, your deficits that you tried to escape from. This is very important. You have to realize that young people are often encouraged or pushed to use internet extensively because the internet helps them to control and regulate their emotions and uh, it's important and this is something that us as grown-ups should really focus on as it should not be or people from the internet people you meet online should not be only relationships that young people make um, and this method of regulating or controlling emotions should not be the only one because this is where the true problems start. Thank you very much for this very perceptive and very uh, 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 important voice. And now about uh, uh, the creators. Um, because we have uh, in this film the influencers who rely very much on themselves and on what they have to say. So uh, without any filters, so very song, songs, very images, very skills are the only thing that matters. And either they had this force of attraction or not, and all the feedback uh, um, hits uh, the very influencer who, who, who performs, and um, it must be extreme burden on a young person. How to live being an influencer selling oneself? Mm. Well, again, I would not like to build an image of an influencer uh, as uh, ver engaging in a very difficult profession, demanding, yes, demanding and uh, requiring um, the possibility to work hard, even if it is physically not very hard sometimes, and to measure up to the ephemeric uh, tastes on the internet. And here we could follow on with uh, the question whether uh, those sudden interruption of their career, of their recognition, uh, and we know that in this profession more than anywhere else, uh, 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 if it doesn't work, it really doesn't work, and 
Everything uh, is in ruins and uh, we could think about influencers uh, speaking about patho influencers. There was a career of one cameraman that was uh, interrupted uh, on good grounds too, but given that the internet is so whimsical, um, such crisis uh, or some um, Failure may be provoked by the change of heart, the change of trend, the change of interests, uh, and uh, the influencers and the internet performers uh, may also be an object of hate, and you need to be extremely extremely resilient if someone attacks you and your image. There are also problems with privacy, as we could see um, in this Polish movie Sweat, where we could uh, actually follow how the whole of one's life was uh, on sale. Immense uh, social pressure and uh, very strong emotions, the whimsical nature of the internet. And uh, at the same time, when we think about uh, internet uh, performers, we may uh, also consider that. Um, it is not easy to develop your um, career and to advance your career in the Internet. You are often supported by mentors, trainers, um, which is not probably the right uh, uh, word to use because they do it for profit. And what is very important when we speak about influencers' careers, uh, this is the capability of managing one's image and career. And um, I think that all in all, what is crossing our minds as uh, some minor consideration, and we must remember here that what they post, they create something, and this is not just uh, about some innocent offhand remark, and they consciously create their career. And um, as I'm saying, this is quite a complex profession and rich. Also, there are many happy ends in this profession, but likewise, there are many failures and many hardships. Marta, and what is your take on the world of young internet performers? Uh, how could one assist them, support them in psychological terms? Do you meet such people? Like this uh, boy who lost all of his following, suddenly lost the hope for better life. Well, uh, we encounter this loss of hope very frequently. And also some detachment from reality. They so much want to become influencers uh, that they defy various things that are important in life, like going to school, like having daily routines, uh, and they question and uh, defy all the necessity of every day's effort and uh, in pursuit of some dream they think they are going to um, find themselves in some cloud and cuckoo land and those who are most disappointed are as we could see in jawline uh, the boy being an influencer was also um, satisfying one of um, his needs. He needed always to get a positive feedback, you are cool, you are fantastic. Even if things turn out bad, uh, it will change for the better. So whatever he was saying, he was also saying to himself in his particular 
In his particular case, he had family. He had a brother who had excellent uh, confidence in him. And it is my impression that they were closely bound together. And after such a failure, such a person uh, has every opportunity to cope, green and buried, whereas I know so many young people who will never rebound from such a failure, and uh, for him such a failure would be final. In the past, those um, idols were singers, actors with very particular set of skills, and uh, they were able to win their fame thanks to their talent, image, uh, presentation, individu individual features and characteristics. But now the time has come when an influencer doesn't uh, have to have any special skills. Uh, only one is important to attach uh, followers to him or her or to get in touch with the followers. But this is a skill in itself, but this is also a great intrusion into someone's privacy and this can be a sensitive uh, uh, item especially if one aspires and dreams to translate this into business the business uh, sphere and it was clearly shown uh, on the film in the film is like a professional adult world where uh, where uh, um, adult support will be very much needed, so leaving a young man high and dry, unprotected, is a great risk. And in situations that we see, especially in our counseling service, A Child Online, we saw certain um, situations where parents would share and subscribe to the same dream, like, yes, you are good, you have opportunities ahead of you. So they, in a way, surrendered their educational role and they shared the same dream. Uh, and then, if there was like a school dropping out or any other social turbulence because someone was stuck so much in the internet the, uh, this, uh, in pursuit of one's aspirations that as a result of any failure also dozens of other failures and problems uh, surfaced. So I think that if someone should decide to go in for such a career without relying on adult support, uh, it's like cloud and cuckoo land. And the reality is not like that. And this is also the question how adults could support young people in being influencers. Are they ready? Are they prepared to enter such a world that is governed by the rules of the adults, where a young person, sensitive person, may uh, may be heard on a number of occasions, unless supported, unless knowledgeable unless prepared. Yes, support. Support was mentioned in this movie. As you were talking, I remembered one discussion that the mother of the boy at the beginning, when it turns proves that he might earn real money, she was enthusiastic. But then, when um, those financial uh, ideas uh, uh, broke down, she she suddenly got very critical. So we see that parents may be supportive, but may be lost themselves. And uh, this, uh, um, groom, uh, this uh, gloomly presented manager, this, uh, the boy who was 21 himself, to what extent uh, what he had in mind was not about uh, the good of his um, 
uh, charges uh, young influencers. No, he was driven by profit. And in the meantime, I'm just consulting chat window, and I see that there is no uh, common interpretation, especially of the ending scene. Is it so very sad that the boy will never rebound after having such high aspirations? And some of us say that he <coughs> returned to where he belongs, uh, to school, uh, to work, started some jobbing, and he uh, discovers the real life. So what is your uh, impression of the film? What was the general conclusion? Uh, I will not decide. Watching this movie, I saw those two scenarios opening up. But uh, what I wanted to emphasize is that I'm very happy that we are able to see some positive sides of, of the, in this film. So being an influencer, on a broader scale, <coughs> and I fully agree with my preceding speaker that this uh, protection of the adults and um, the presence of adults, protective adults in the whole business is very important. On the other hand, if you at home uh, you get the same <coughs> feedback. Uh, uh, well, um, uh, we should uh, especially uh, see uh, all the traps and all the difficulties because a child in show business in general may be very vulnerable. I would like to see another movie where a young hero uh, promotes his career using his hobby horse, his passions, uh, uh, be it dancing, horseback run, riding, uh, with supportive manager, with supportive parents who just want to support passion, then this person gets really popular, but in the positive sense. And here I would just uh, disassemble the movie that we have seen. So, as I'm saying, it is not for me to say uh, uh, what will be the ending of the film, but I would like to see a more positive narrative of a young uh, influencer with supportive environment, uh, wise mentors and uh, on a broader scale. To, to illustrate to young people that this is a difficult profession uh, and it uh, involves lots of risk and lots of pressures. But on the other hand, this may be a way to develop one's uh, and to promote one's professional development. And we have seen many, many influencers who could um, com uh, confirm such a positive uh, uh, way. And uh, of course, <coughs> negative sides of being an influencer have captivated our imagination and our knowledge. But perhaps we could be also supportive and show it on the movie that uh, this path uh, can be available and positive for the one who decides to go for it. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's very important to hear such positive words. And in Digital EU Forum, we often invite young creators, young influencers who have a lot they can share with us and with their peers, be it a passion or certain ideas. And this documentary is not black and white, as we said, because there are figures there who gained some very valuable experience from this um, adventure. Well, when we are talking about positive aspects of being an influencer, and it was very important for me to see how supportive these influencers were for one another. They were really not fighting amongst themselves, trying to 
grab as many likes as possible, but they really shared how much of a talent it is, how difficult their life is. And Marta, is there anything you'd like to add? Well, I could just add that I see many positive aspects of this situation, and even though this boy did not succeed, in his dream career, because maybe career was not what he really needed, and we don't know. Maybe in few years' time he will become an influencer, but a very different one, and uh, he will manage his career differently and reach fame that he wanted, provided that this is what he would consider the path at that time and what was very what impressed me very much was the attitude of a, of a mother first she was very encouraging and then uh, after he failed he had well it's all you're doing you dropped out from school you now have problems so it's all your fault well uh, i would actually ask um, whether it is truly his fault because young people have the right to dream to question different aspects of their lives different things that they are allowed or prohibited and there is a question whether a parent would take on some of the responsibility or not because if you are an influencer if you want to show certain skills that you have you need to have these skills so someone needs to support us uh, uh, help us to learn to improve to master the skills we want to share with the world so it seems to me that all of this begins much earlier before a young person if is even aware of the existence of influencers, so we should pay attention to teaching children how to find their place in the real world, and we would thus protect them from this race that they see on YouTube or, or, or wider in the internet. Even if we <coughs> secure the appliances the children use while from harmful content, the harm that may come to young people is not really access to illegal harmful content sometimes. Sometimes what is dangerous is changing their perception of the world. If they watch too much of certain things, they may turn out to become all they aspire to. So we should make sure that children have more contact with educational content and not just with uncontrolled internet content. Sometimes it is simply an information landfill. So as we've heard many a time, let us accompany children, be with them. They need us, they need them, their peers, that's true. And we could see in this um, documentary that young people are looking for one another, even if they are under lockdown, there is no opportunity to meet physically. They will <clears throat> find ways to be together, to meet. So there are some positive aspects uh, of this film and some positive conclusions. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we could go on for another hour or two discussing this movie because this is so close to our life and to the life of the children we bring up and teach. Unfortunately, uh, we should be concluding the proceedings of the day. I think we uh, have now provided very good advice for <coughs> parents and for educators. You need to guide children through life and also through their online presence. And if a child discovers a talent and wants to become a YouTuber or an influencer, you should support this young person. And uh, this uh, young person should be sur surrounded by adults who are interested in the 
good and safety. And in the chat box, you often said that it would be important for parents to uh, watch this conference. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all these sessions are recorded. They will be available on our website. You can either watch the whole proceedings or selected sessions. So you are more than welcome to inform parents and to encourage them to <coughs> to watch um, the proceedings. I would like to thank our experts very much. This has been a very valuable um, discussion, and I will hand over to Shimon now. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for the first two days of our conference, and uh, one of our participants, Marta, wrote that this is perfect for um, School, class discussion when you talk to your class that you are a head teacher of. So I'm glad that this material will come useful. So thank you very much for this online conference which, thanks to our chat, uh, also provided an opportunity for us to be in contact. Uh, I know that you watched the sessions and you were very involved. This conference is not over because Wednesday, Thursday and Friday is a series of 15 workshops and webinars. I strongly encourage you to <clears throat> see them on our website. Uh, you can still subscribe, uh, so I encourage you to do so. So thank you very much for today, and uh, we wish you a very good afternoon, and we hope to see you next year during the 16th edition of this international conference. Thank you.